Well, hey, YouTube friends, it's been a while since I made a video. Still on the crutches. I can kind of get out here in the shop and stand now. I got uh, at least a couple more weeks on crutches and at least four more before I'm like fully off restrictions and who knows how many it'll be after that before I can go back to doing what I want to do. But uh, just playing on the wood lathe a little bit. Let me show you what I got going here. Started on this um, the other day. And then I was like, hey, I should record this. So you're kind of coming in at the tail end. You got one layer of oil and uh, just a real light stain on it. This is a spalted birch crotch piece. So. so I got it reverse chucked and I'm working on cleaning up the inside here and then I'll get that sanded down. I need to smooth the sides out. Might add another layer of oil on this throughout the process. And then we'll see if I, I end up fully finishing it today. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I can put different jaws on this chuck and reverse chuck it and clean up the back. Because that's got a little oil on it, but that's about it. Because I haven't decided how I'm going to finish it. So, with that, I'll uh, bring you in. I'm by no means someone you should be learning from on this. I'm trying to learn on my own. And, you know, I do know I have this nova comet 2 midi lathe i got it on its medium gear set here and it's a dc adjustable i always turn it on at its lowest speed and then slowly dial it up and we use it and try in a few different tools the primary two i'll probably use right now is i have this small gouge here and i've been pulling out this carbide tip this gets the round one on so let's see how this does. kind of important right now is to stop check your thicknesses pretty good got some tear out in the spalting here so I'm gonna try and do a bunch more scraping 
Cut down on the sand in that way. Wiped a little more oil in there. I always stop fairly frequently when I'm sanding, just to, especially with the coarse grit. Might need to rubbing a little oil helps to kind of show you your rough spots too. Looks like I need to work this outer edge a little bit. That's probably good on the rough stuff. Put a little more oil on it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, I do believe this is called uh -oh, wet sanding. Wet sanding might be typically done with something else, but it's what I call wet sanding. So I'm sure people will let me know I'm wrong. <laughs> So, thought this might be worth showing. Um, 
changing jaws on my chuck. Uh, if anyone's interested, uh, let me know and I can look up what jaw it is that I have here. It's the one that came with it. It's a Nova jaw. And then I bought these separate. But if you look, there's two Allen head screws here. So I've went through and loosened them all. So I'll spin those two out. I'll set them aside. I've already done two of these. I'll do these two more and I'll show you how to put one of these on. And I actually, I think I need to crank my jaws out just a little. All of this pretty self-explanatory. If you use the boiled linseed oil much, you got to kind of scrub these up. It's almost time to clean these jaws up again. You crank a little room out, then you just take one of these. And it has a little groove you got to get down in there. You drop your screw in. And it came with screws, and they seem to be about the same. And this is a Nova jaw, but, you know, I don't know how many chucks it's compatible with. So it's something you would want to pay attention to. Make sure that your screws are, you know, sufficient. And then I'll just continue and do all four. And then I'll show you these are real simple. They just got a little standard screw in them. And you just adjust those to where either way you want. You can either put the bowl inside of it with this wide open and crank down or inside out. The inside out, you know, a lot of that's going to depend on the angle of the side of the bowl. You get crushing versus expansion forces. I always like to do outside in if I can. Okay, I got the jaws on. I didn't have to adjust them, so I didn't bother showing you. Just put the bowl in and then adjust the jaws to where we got tension tool rest back on I switched the speed to the medium speed I like to use this little wood block this is a live center so that'll spin but I don't like that pin poke it in there and you can get different live centers it's just uh, going on the cheap and eventually I'll be turning a little bit without the center on to clean up the very center of that but I saved that for last and you got to think when you're doing this there's not a whole heck of a lot holding this on so I typically do kind of pushing scraper type cuts I try not to take great big huge ones so make sure you're in forward turn it down Now, you want to be careful if it wobbles at all, turn it down, check it out, stop and look. I've had them come apart on here. I've punched through the bottom, and it sucks to get a bowl to this point and mess it up. So, <laughs> take your time. So, so, my battery died on me. But I guess at least then I didn't have to share my blender. I dropped the bowl broke part of the edge so I did the best I could I broke a chunk out so then I kind of cut up this whole side a little bit and I just did a rough sanding got the back sanded up do the finished sanding and uh, oil it up now this is where this Turner's paper shines want to smooth that stuff over it's real similar to emery cloth. Time to oil 
it up. Oh, there's one over there. Put some gloves on. Looks like we might, might need a little more oil. And I'm always really careful with boiled linseed oil, anything that has like this drying agent in it. So I did switch to a new little paper rag. I got my old one right here. And I have a little burn pile out there. We, we live out in the middle of nowhere. And I throw these summertime so there isn't got to be careful doing outdoor burning it's not actually i guess it's not allowed right now um but i put them out there i'll put a little scrap piece of wood on them they can as they dry out i've heard, always heard i've never experienced it i don't want to but they could spontaneously combust and burn your shop down so like this bowl it'll go out there too and just err on the side of caution with it so that looks pretty good. 